probably by the time you watch this video, iPad OS 13 will be available for you to download. And by far, my favorite thing on the new iPad OS is the new Safari browser. As you probably know, websites always treated the Safari browser on the iPad as a mobile browser. So it was treated like an iPhone browser. With iPad OS, now you have a desktop class browsing on your iPad. And with that, you will be able to do things you were not able to do before, like watching a movie or a YouTube video while riding on Zwift. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run YouTube, Netflix, or Twitch and watch someone else's stream while Zwifting and doing or doing anything else on your iPad. And uh, since the channel is mainly about indoor cycling, I'm going to demonstrate this using cycling apps, but you can follow along and do the same thing playing video games or browsing social media or doing anything else on your iPad. I personally do not usually like to watch anything while working out. I just usually just listen to music. My brain just cannot concentrate on a movie or even listen to a podcast while working out. So, but let me know if you are into Netflix and chill or Netflix and Zwift. I mostly Netflix and fall asleep within the first 10 minutes. Okay, let's start with YouTube uh, using Safari. Uh, as of today, this does not work on Chrome. Uh, I'm sure this will change eventually, but for today, we're gonna be using the Safari browser. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and pick something here out of the playlist or the rec recommended list. So uh, let's go with Ray. Uh, so here's uh, uh, Ray Maker. And uh, let's go ahead and expand the screen. So you wanna click on this little tiny uh, square box and it should expand the screen for you. And you should see this little icon here. This should bring in the uh, video uh, to the side of the screen and uh, make makes it make it float uh, around the screen like that so if you just now you can just get out of the uh, safari and uh, go and open any app you want so let's try it with the uh, train road and here you go train road you can just go and select any workout you want uh, and load the workout and start to work out and just do it i tried it this morning and it worked pretty well and uh, let's try it with zwift so here we go, I already had a session going, so, but you can go and uh, yeah, just ride the ride with Zwift here and you can move the video around. Uh, you can make it smaller or make it uh, bigger uh, and just put it anywhere you want. So now I'm uh, gonna close you out, Ray, sorry. And uh, let's try something else. Okay, next we're gonna take a look at Netflix. And while we are here, if you are still watching, I would appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe, it helps the channel that way. And let me know what's your favorite Netflix show. I seem to spend more time browsing Netflix than actually watching anything. So let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, now we're gonna go to Netflix. And remember, we are using the Safari browser. I am not using the Netflix app. If you use the Netflix app, it's not gonna work. You have to go to the Safari browser and go to netflix.com. And just log into your account and find a video that you want to watch and play that video. So in this case, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna play this uh, Inside Bill Gates uh, Brain. And once it start playing, I'm just gonna pause it here so I don't get in trouble with the YouTube uh, or Netflix police. And you're gonna see this little box here. Just click on it to expand the screen to make it full screen. And immediately you'll see this little icon here. Tap on that and the screen will float. And now you can just like we saw on YouTube, you can just move it around and let's go ahead and open Zwift. Okay, so here we go. We're just watching someone else now writing and we have the movie here playing. You can move the screen around. You can put it anywhere in the screen. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. Or if you just wanna concentrate on the workout, you can pause it and just hide it to the side. And when you are ready to get back and start watching again, you can just bring it back uh, here. And if you do not want the audio or the Zwift audio to conflict with the uh, movie, you can just go back to the menu and I'm just gonna move the screen here again and go to settings and turn off the uh, game sound and volume and the 3D uh, word volume here. Okay, so now let's try something else. Let's go to uh, Twitch and see what we can find there and watch someone else's uh, stream. So I'm just gonna try Zwift and see who's streaming on Zwift. Okay, here we got a live streamer. So let's go and watch that person. It's a little bit weird with a Twitch. Sometimes I see, uh, sometimes I can get it to work and sometimes not. So let's try this one here. Uh, I don't know if it has something to do with the settings or, or, or not, but uh, I'm just gonna click on the 
these little two arrows here to expand the screen. And I see this a little icon again, the same icon. So just click on it. And now we have this guy here zwifting. You can watch him if you're racing or something or you're just zwifting with your friend and you want to watch your friend while zwifting and you are zwifting at the same time. So here you go. You can do that. Just put him somewhere up here and uh, go ahead and start zwifting and watch your friend or watch a race or whatever event that you're trying to follow. Okay, that's all I have. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And thanks for watching and see you next time.